Our big story tonight, critical race theory. The mere phrase sparks debate, even outrage across the country. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kadiva Devine. And I'm Mitch Carr, in for Mark Curtis. Governor Ducey has signed a law that he says will ban critical race theory teachings in public schools. As Team 12's Joe Dana shows, the law could prompt backlash among some educators. Advocates of critical race theory argue America's history was largely written by the winners, white men who owned land. They want lesser known events to be taught through the perspective of black Americans and to link those events to how America is today. The law signed by Governor Ducey is a shot across the bow, warning teachers about using history to make any single ethnicity feel guilt or shame about past events. It has triggered tensions at Valley School Board meetings. I don't understand why we are arguing and we're all saying the same thing. Critical race theory examines America's history and present through the lens of race and racism. It teaches concepts like white privilege, microaggressions, and institutionalized racism. Concepts, many educators say, help students understand the state of America today. As one of the writers of the 1619 Project explains at a recent forum, my essay looks at discrimination in our current health care system and traces it back to slavery. Critics argue teaching these concepts amount to racism and can lead to discrimination against white people. Governor See, Ducey, now siding with the critics, signing a law done. that does not allow a state employee to engage in training that presents any form of blame or judgment on the basis of race, ethnicity, or sex. The law's wording doesn't mention critical race theory, However, it includes a ban against what some might interpret as white guilt, teachings that an individual should feel discomfort or any other form of psychological distress because of the individual's race. I asked Phoenix Area High School Principal Kenneth Smith how the law will impact what's taught in schools next year. Well, school boards have a lot to discuss now because the school boards have to make sure that they take this policy and now they aggregate that information about how they're going to apply this because there is no real guidance. It is vague. In a statement, Ducey defends the law as going a long way towards protecting Arizonans against divisive and regressive lessons. Smith, who is also an activist for civil rights, accuses Ducey of ignoring concerns of the black community. And that's what the governor just did. He whitewashed Arizona education by basically saying, look, we don't want to hurt anyone's feelings because we don't want white people to feel hurt. The penalty for schools that violate the new law, up to a $5,000 fine. Smith could test that law very quickly. As an educator, as a principal, I'm not going to say anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell my teachers to continue to teach the way they need to teach these students, especially our black and brown students. In Phoenix, Joe Dana, 12 News.